You know, old biz jets and even some old turboprops are sort of the forgotten part of the avionics retrofit market. And there may be some good solutions out there, but a lot of them aren't going to be easy to retrofit, and they certainly aren't going to be inexpensive. And for that reason, a lot of these old jets are still flying around with 1970s vintage avionics. That's why I think Avidyne is onto something here with its Atlas FMS. Now, the Atlas trickles down from Avidyne's IFD series retrofit navigators for smaller panels. And Avidyne's done something smart here. They've taken a lot of the technology that's inside the IFD and they repackaged it into a Zeus mounted chassis that can fit into the center pedestal of some of these older jets. Now, Avidyne was showing the Atlas at the NBAA's business airplane show out in Vegas this past fall. I went over and spent some time with Tom Harper, and here's a look. Hi, this is Tom Harper. I'm with Avidyne, and we're here at uh, NBAA in Las Vegas. Uh, we're introducing our new Atlas flight management system, and it's a really exciting new product for Avidyne, kind of an evolution from our IFD series as we've moved up market taking the hundreds of thousands of hours of experience with that product line and moving it up market into the Zeus mount uh, form factor with a dedicated QWERTY style keyboard. We've kept all the great features of the IFD which are really going to be a good fit for the legacy aircraft that we're targeting, uh, adding new features, of course LPV WASP capability, electronic approach charts, uh, touch screen capability, uh, wireless connectivity to ForeFlight and other apps. Uh, a lot of nice features that really make it an attractive as, as for the legacy aircraft that are neat, looking for a solution to get them into LPV and extend the life of those airplanes at a price point that makes it uh, very attractive for this market. We've got moving map, an easy to use flight management system that's well proven and then again add that with a dedicated keyboard makes it really easy to and quick to enter a flight plan. Some of the unique features with this product, we, we offer it with and without an integrated VHF radio, so you can have your nav in your comm, your glide slope receiver, and of course your GPS uh, integrated into the box. We also offer a flavor that's uh, FMS only, so if you have your legacy radios, you can keep those. Uh, with, with our radios integrated, You've got full frequency nomination, we've got station ID readout. These are nice features that simply weren't available for these legacy airplanes. A lot of the older FMS systems have a, a monochrome display with kind of an ASCII style uh, textual readout. So this is a dramatic shift in adding technology. Nice bright full VGA display. Again, it's touch screen, we've got full color. Uh, get a lot of information at a glance versus having to hunt and peck. Page and tab user interface allows you to get to any page in one or two clicks. Pilots love that. Uh, automatic tuning of the VORs when you're in a flight plan. So if you're loading an approach, it'll automatically uh, tune the ILS. It'll automatically identify it, and transition for you. All your approach procedures can be easily programmed and it's just an all-around easier box to use and for the folks out there that are either using an old-style flight management system or a panel mounted uh, navigator or in some cases nothing at all there's just a, a, a huge quantum leap in, in technology that we can bring uh, for these airplanes and extend the life of these airplanes for many years into the future. We'll interface with the older Collins EFISs the, uh, the Honeywell EFIS 4050 styles and of course all the old steam gauge airplanes as well. So we've got a lot of opportunity there uh, to get this product certified into a lot of different airplanes where they can take advantage of the utility. Electronic approach charts, something a lot of them don't have any access to otherwise other than on an iPad, but this gives them a certified trustworthy version with their own ship overlaid uh, geo reference charts. Again, we, we have a hybrid touch display, which means we've got touch screen, but we also have knobs and buttons. So anything you can do on the touch screen, you can do with the knobs and buttons as well, uh, and vice versa. So it makes it really versatile. And in different phases of flight, you might want to use touch, but in other phases of flight, of course, buttons and knobs make more sense. Uh, they also provide, of course, a, an approved GPS position source for ADS-B. 
a lot of the air, these airplanes, because of the deadlines looming for ADS-B, may have already upgraded to a blind-mounted WASH GPS. Well, what we're looking at, maybe next year in their budget, they can look at maybe pulling that remote GPS, installing a full flight management system that gets them the LPV capability. They've already spent the money on the antennas. We can repurpose those WASH antennas and the expense that's associated with punching a hole in the pressure vessel, this gives us the ability to drop these boxes in and give them all that extra utility. These boxes also have integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so now that again, that acts, allows us to uh, integrate directly with ForeFlight and other uh, wireless apps. Uh, we have our own app, the IFD100 as well, but now you can be at home, put in your flight plan in, get your pre-departure clearance, come out to the airplane, and they'll connect via Wi-Fi automatically and it'll put the flight plan right in for you and you're off and running uh, with very little ground time. We're looking to certify the Atlas in 2020. Not going to be any more specific than that right now, but we are targeting the Gulfstream 3s and 4s, the Beach Jets, all the Falcon series, uh, the Hawker 800 as an example. So there's a lot of opportunity there and uh, the price point on the prop box is, starts at 45,000 roughly without the VHF and about 60 grand if you have the integrated VHF. If you want to learn more about the Atlas product, follow us on www.avidine.com.